Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot forecast. This is for the week of February 4th through February 10th, 2019 and we have the Chinese Solar New Year and the Chinese Lunar New Year happening on the 4th and 5th. We also have the Aquarius New Moon on the 4th. So this is a pretty exciting week. Um, I'm going to give you your forecast for weekly energies and then I'm going to just do a quick little fun thing at the end of your video for the Chinese New Year. So, Sagittarius, let's take a look and see which house is most in focus for you this week. Ooh, we've got the 12th house here. So, Sagittarius, this has some elements of karma, of um, coming to an end of a you know, long, long cycle and, you know, coinciding with that Aquarius new moon coming off of the full moon total lunar eclipse we had in Leo. Yeah, um, big time changes uh, this week. Now listen, this could be, you know, just some really hardships finally coming to an end. This could be where you really have to assert yourself and put your boundaries down and make big shifts and changes, but this isn't like something you're forcing yourself to do. This is something that's just happening very naturally, organically. So whatever you are prompted to do, um, whether it feels positive or, you know, sometimes when we have to tell somebody exactly how we're feeling or kind of put them in their place, just depending on what they're doing, it can be hard and painful. But you, if you are just really being pushed you've got to do what your spirit is telling you to do. There's purpose in it and it's time for like an end of things, a completion, karma clearing, just it feels like a, such a refreshing um, energy after this 12th house is you know fully satisfied the energy um, and karma connected to it so that's very highlighted this week for you, Sagittarius. So um, I'm going to pull another little card here to get a little bit more insight before we pull the tarot. All right, man. So Sagittarius, um, this, because this is general, I mean, this could go a lot of different ways. If you're a man, you've got to really assert yourself. If you are a female, you've got to step into your masculine energies, really fill your solar plexus chakra and allow it, you know, to vibe very just unobstructed. Um, some of you, this could have to do with, you know, a male figure in your life where, you know, we're finally coming to a completion, we're finally coming to an understanding. Um, it doesn't have to be a male energy, obviously, because this is a general reading, but it does feel very strongly for male energy, the completion of the final understanding, the karmic clearing. There's definitely something to do with uh, masculine energy, whether it's an actual person or you need to really embody all positive elements of the divine masculine, whether you are male or female this week, and handle things accordingly. So with that, it's being um, wise, but quite stern, um, flexible, but asserting your boundaries. It's a very fine balance, but it's not letting anybody push you over, tell you what to do, um, try to control you, try to dominate you. It's that type of energy and projection will not feel right to you and you will really push against and rebel. But ultimately with this man energy, I feel it's like really taking control and taking charge of things this week in your life and kind of in a different sense than you have in the past. So let's pull some tarot and see what comes out. Okay, yeah, 
that because look at that we got the moon so right away I know this uh, full moon uh, that just happened in Leo total lunar eclipse is relevant and um, also this Aquarius new moon but most importantly in the tarot Pisces is associated with the moon card Pisces is also associated with the 12th house so some of you this could very much involve a Pisces a Pisces male um, or this is really talking about the energy of you your Sagittarius but your um, spiritual openness to receiving messages, intuitions, guidance, all of that is incredibly wide open this week. Next out we have Justice. Wow, two major arcanas in a row. Like I said, there's a completion of energy coming to an end. The scales are balancing. Ooh, and look at this, Eight of Wands. So this is the energy returning to you. Um, man, and this could be communications coming in. Um, this could be where you have been waiting to hear back from about like a court case or some legal matter or a job or um, somebody coming to an agreement about something. And there could have been, you know, a lot of worry and concern but it's like it's going to turn out fair for you, Sagittarius, what you would consider fair and just, whether that you are directly involved or this is somebody close to you in your life and you have an interest in what's happening to them. It's like you are satisfied with the um, balancing of the scales and it's like positive news coming to you in your favor. Uh, yeah, because look at, we have the two of pentacles sitting under this moon, and in this position, this is kind of a bit of like, I just, I'm not quite sure what to do. I feel one thing, but logically or circumstantially, it's like I feel like I have to do this other thing, or um, there's like these two energies that you're really trying to make work, like maybe two friends that you're trying to um, sort out an argument with. Um, it could be like you, um, your spouse, and a like the family like you're kind of in between two energies here and with the moon it's like a lot of uncertainty a lot of emotion involved in it's like which way do I go what do I do um, kind of like a, a bit of a balancing act and woo look at this coming out under justice the queen of swords so boom right here okay um, this is where I feel you kind of go into that uh, energy spoken of earlier in the reading of really asserting yourself, your boundaries, but doing it with grace, with tact, with integrity. This isn't um, with these, okay, if these two cards came out like this, that's some scary stuff, okay, that's craziness, that's uh, cat fights, that's treachery, that's betrayal, that's dishonesty, but coming out on this side, it's fairness, it's just, it's truth, it's honesty. And uh, some of you, you could be involved with an air sign, uh, especially a Libra, but could be Gemini or Aquarius. But this to me feels more like your energy and um, either the things going in your favor, like the judge or whoever's in power, you know, choosing in your favor or you're being given the power somehow, some way. But it's if that's the case, it's like you deserve that. You're coming to a completion of something this week. And... Um, this is you handling things with logic, speaking fact. It's not really emotional based. It's not that there's not emotions behind it. It's just that the way you're articulating yourself or um, presenting your side, whatever it is, it's done with a, a, such a element of purity and tact that nobody can dispute you or... Um, attack you in a sense, okay? Because sometimes when you're speaking truth or asserting yourself or, you know, putting somebody in their place, um, it's just like it doesn't really work out well, right? But in this situation, Sagittarius, I just feel as long as you handle yourself in a very positive, integrous way, it's like going to work out for you this week. Don't 
um, get caught in between the middle of anything, really go with your intuition and decide based upon that and be very strong. Let nobody pull you out of your power because um, here we have this communication, but we have the four of wands in this position. So um, there's an element of having to kind of play nice, fake nice um, through some sort of communication and conversation uh, and with this it's I don't feel like that's the uh, route that you want to take like I really feel like you want to kind of stick it to somebody because they deserve it it's your even though you're articulating yourself there's this element of holding back where you're not um if you really spoke your true mind and said it all with no filter, somebody might run away with their tail between their legs, okay? Or it, it, um, if it's like in your workplace, it wouldn't be very effective to present yourself or your side or your idea in that light or with a friend or with the family members. So it's almost like there's this conversation that's going to take place this week, Sagittarius, and... Um, you're going to have to kind of fake nice, fake something, um, but that's more of like, because if you were, if you had no filter, so instead of saying fake, I should say you have to really filter a conversation or communications, and in doing so, like, that brings you favor as well, okay? So you can articulate yourself and say everything you need to say or even really put somebody in their place, but you don't have to do it nastily. And this could be in one situation or maybe even, you know, multiple situations with the Eight of Wands here. So let's, um, let's pull a little dice and see where Spirit would like to bring some more clarity. All right, so, ooh, we got the sacral chakra. So that's the divine feminine energy or the energy center, divine masculine, divine feminine. So, yeah, there's a real balancing of energies for you guys this week. Really uh, keeping the cool, maintaining your composure, uh, kind of keeping things really orderly, Sagittarius. You're in a, such a leadership position this week. So let's see. Okay, so we've got six for this right here, the justice with the communication, um, but it's not really touching these cards, but these are my clarifiers for those. So let's see, Spirit says we need to pull six clarifiers for what's going on right here. And with sacral, again, um, because man came out, there's a balance of energies that needs to take place. We also have justice, the completion of a cycle as well. So it's like things are coming to a head, coming to a resolution, coming to a completion. And the next tarot would be um, wish card. So like I said, I yeah, I just wanted to jump back over here in front of the camera. So I feel like whatever is okay, fine. So yes, this is part of the reading. And um, I just feel like it, things go in your favor. Yeah, look at, we have fifth dimension. We have dark night of the soul. We have understanding. And then we have numbing. We have Karmic Partner, and we have Purge. Boom, Sagittarius, look at that. Yep. So with this balancing of energies or this conversation, um, what I really feel, Sagittarius, is this is where you are vibing, right here, okay, fifth dimension. And who you are dealing with is more of this dark night of the soul energy, okay, Um or this is your own personal journey where you are now entering this level of consciousness and this week it's like you're finally clearing out this dark night of the soul energy because what's next is understanding, okay? So um, definitely two strong messages here, Sagittarius. First and foremost is it's like you are operating and existing here um, about a situation or something going on in your life and whoever else
else is involved is existing more in this type of energy just confusion um, lack of clarity not really um, seeing things from a high spiritual perspective it's more of fear-based energies and you know this is where I want to see from spirit so these are like opposite ends of the spectrum but there's this understanding that's going to take place inside of you Sagittarius because you're coming to realize that this dark night of the soul energy that you are dealing with if it's another person or situation it's numbing it's nauseating it's um, to the point like you feel the imbalance of energy and that's why justice is out because the understanding that you come into last two cards is purge you've got to purge this karmic um, partnership this karmic relationship this karmic situation all right now um, for those of you where that doesn't apply where this is more about your own personal dark night of the soul journey Sagittarius this week it's there is a huge 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 shift in consciousness for you um, about yourself about what you've been going through about who you are involved with okay because you're realizing that to continue on in the same patterns of behavior or around some of the same toxic relationships is stunting your happiness, is stunting your consciousness, is stunting your spiritual growth, your emotional growth, your true happiness and joy. And you're coming into the understanding of what relationships, behaviors, patterns need to purge, need to change in your life to lead you ultimately to this true place of happiness okay so Sagittarius um, I really feel like we're gonna have some conversations this week but like I said you need to come from a place of utter purity integrity honesty even if you really want to stick it to somebody and they deserve it because you are dealing with a consciousness that is just in an entirely different dimension than you are and um, to attack outrightly uh, causes more damage but uh, de de no matter what needs to be said or done handling yourself with grace it doesn't mean it won't hurt it just means that um, you know at some point this energy may understand where you were coming from because you were operating from a place of purity rather than a place of reaction just even though they may deserve it okay so it, there's some sort of purge taking place that has a lot to do with karma okay even though this is karmic partner it's also karma because again 12th house as I said at the beginning of the reading has to do with the completion of like clearing karma a completion of a cycle coming to the end you know boom done six on a dice is the final you know number so that's as high as you can go that to me is the completion the end and it's like happiness on the other side of that so this is going to be a, a very interesting week for you Sagittarius but ultimately I feel like no matter what you feel quite empowered so let's pull in advice and then we'll do the little fun thing for the Chinese New Year okay oh well okay I was I guess you get to um, I honor the natural process of growth and transformation Wow um, this to me perfectly in alignment with this 12th house you also see the butterfly there two messages with that Sagittarius first of all um, again you're coming to the end of your own cycle and there's something beautiful taking place and opening up for you and number two handle people with grace and all you say and do opposed to emotionally reacting because you don't know the seeds of light that you're placing inside of them by handling yourself with integrity and grace opposed to emotionally reacting to their nonsense um, because those seeds is when they're ready they're gonna remember and it's just it might not even be a conscious thing but the way you handle things could really plant seeds in another person even when you're like yeah there's no hope here like I can't even deal with this person like um, because this doesn't just have to talk about dark night of the soul 
um, journey. This is also about, you know, energies of people you're dealing with, which are really intense, hard energies. All right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at second advice. I am ready. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Sagittarius, listen. Yeah, you are coming to the end um, of a long, long karmic cycle. You have done a lot of work. You are clearing a lot of energies out. Purge. Handle yourself with grace. Um, don't lower yourself to anybody's um, bad vibes or negative behavior. It's it, purge because something beautiful is um, absolutely coming in for you. So with that said, those are your messages for this week. But um, I also... Um, for the Chinese New Year, for fun, I wanted to pull a card here and see what is the luckiest moon for Sagittarius this year, meaning the biggest uh, manifesting of things that you truly desire. So let's see. All right, so we have the Aquarius full moon here, and that happens in July. So Sagittarius, July, especially around this full moon in Aquarius period, is a very, very lucky time for you. Remember that. Um, just make a mental note and, you know, this beautiful wish card, that might be when the full manifestation takes place, okay? Perhaps all of this purging and understanding is taking place between now and then, but that's time frame, that moon is the luckiest for you. So those of you that have an Aquarius moon, huge confirmation. So I'm also going to give you a little fortune cookie, your fortune for the week since it's, you know, Chinese New Year. Let's see, and I don't want that on my um, cards, and so I'm not going to crack it. Okay. Oh my gosh. Now is a good time to call a loved one at the distance from you. Oh, at a distance from you. Wow. Um, conversation, wishes, having to kind of play nice, balancing the scales, um, healing, completion, karmic completion, and now is a good time to call a loved one at a distance from you. That's your message for the week from the fortune... Um, cookies so take it for what it is Sagittarius and with that I will leave you and I am wishing you a wonderful week take care